Hi YouTube, I just wanted to film a really quick video to get my perfect new lip. And it looks like a little bit of an ombre effect because if you do a two-tone new lip, it just looks a little better and it just doesn't look flat. What you could do is you can find any type of dark nude lip liner. What I'm using, it's by NYX and it's a waterproof lip liner. And waterproof lip liners are actually better than your regular lip liners because they will stay and just won't smudge. You can kind of just tweak it along the day and you don't have to redo your lip like every time. So what you could do is you get a, a waterproof lip liner and in this case it's by NYX. It's the Slide On Glide On Waterproof Lip Liner and it's called Need Me and it's a really nice nude color, okay? I know my hands are so effing pale, I hate it. And then I grab a lighter lipstick and this one is in Silk Pin Up Pout by NYX and it's a lighter tone. So you see how different they are from each other? And that's what you want. You want the contrast. And you can do this with any type of, again, skin color. You just need to learn how to put together colors. Like you just have to find a darker nude lip liner with a lighter, uh, whether it's a liquid lipstick, whether it's just a regular a satin matte lipstick, a lighter shade. So I prefer the satin mattes because they will stay there or the liquid lipsticks uh, because they usually don't move. And again, I do put a little bit of lip balm, you know my routine, I just put a touch of it and then it will just keep the hydration and it'll prolong the color and it won't fade or crack. And because it's a waterproof lip liner, you wanna just let it sit there for a moment. You don't wanna work with it right away, you wanna let it set. Because if you don't let it set, then everything kind of smudges and you're kind of uh, ruining the, the setting time of it. I just find that you just leave it for a moment and then keep, keep going to work with it. All right, just like that. Then I'm going to put my lovely favorite lip balm and you just want to put it in the inner lip and only a touch of it because you don't want it to get glossy just so there's hydration there for you. And then I'm gonna go in with the silk and I'm just gonna outline everything. But I'm not gonna go the entire lip. I'm just gonna go right underneath the lip liner, like that, okay? And then I'm going to just take my finger and I'm just gonna like blend those two colors together. So you get like a little ombre effect going. And I'm gonna go back with the Need Me and I'm just gonna outline that again. Very gently. Okay. That's it. That's how I get my new lip. If you want, you can even add gloss on top of this. Um, and you just kind of keep going back and forth, back and forth with like the lip liner and the lipstick until you just manipulate the color. Yeah. And again, you can do this with like any color to achieve it, to achieve that ombre. But especially for nude, this is the best way to do it, I find, because it won't look so flat. All right, so have a great day. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. Mwah.